Hey guys, welcome to Excel channel again and another episode of lookup function and formulas in Excel. So in this video, we are going to discover a closest match in Excel using these different lookup function. And to find the closest match to a target value in a data column, we will use index match abs and min which is the minimum function in excel so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it because in the upcoming days we are going to learn so much about excel and its functionality so let's get started so here we have a simple very simple sheet for the demonstration purposes only and here we have the student names and we have a scores of the students and we got the topper which is the topper marks which is 100 and we are going to find the closest marks a student got out of 100 okay so we know if we uh, manually analyze this data we know this is the jane carroll but we are going to find that with the formula in this particular cell so how we are going to do that see first we need a closest number okay closest number of towards 100 okay and to find a closest number towards 100 we need to subtract something from it right and to subtract something from it we have a formula like simply just like this minus this let's see so it does give a array of these particular numbers right but we don't need a negative sign there because we are just going to find a topper name here and to eradicate these negative signs which formula we use or you can say which function we use we use abs function which is the absolute here so let's just apply a abs here so there you go so all these data have been become a positive and so now we need a closest match towards 100 so we can analyze here the 3 is the closest match and to point out this particular number or a difference which function we can use we can use a minimum function to just find the minimum value which is the closest towards 100 okay and to apply that here we can simply apply a minimum function like this and close it down so there you go we got the minimum number which is 3 towards the closest topper here so we got to know the minimum difference towards topper number which is 100 and now we need to locate that minimum difference number in this cell so how are we gonna do that to locate a positioning okay we are go not going to locate a value yet or you can say locate a name yet we just need to locate a positioning and to locate a positioning we use which function we use match function so by now you may have known about index and match because it's a very powerful combo here so first of all let's look at the cell positioning of this three difference number so for that we have a match function here and to locate lookup value we already know we have a lookup value of 3 in which array so here comes the tricky part so we know absolute function or abs function returns an array like we have done in a few seconds ago so in a lookup array we are going to list that absolute functions values how we gonna do that we just need to copy this and put it right here okay so we know that minimum value of these absolute function was 3 and to locate that 3 in which array in this absolute functions array hope you get by now so in the next part we have a match which should be exact so let's see if we can get the right position or not so yes we get the right position which is 1 2 3 4 now you may have not understand that abs so i assume i can just explore that part a bit with example so what we have done let me just write that formula again in different cell like this so as we know the absolute function reverts a full range of array we select the array so here in this example what we have done is we have first in the first argument we have a lookup value okay so lookup value is the minimum of absolute reference here so minimum is 3 so we got the lookup value which is 3 okay and to find that lookup value in which array 
in this array which is this particular array so as we know 3 is the fourth number here that is ultimately our answer so hope you understand how this formula work if you still hasn't understand it please write it in the comment box we will do our best to let you understand it so let me just delete this so we know the position now so to revert a value from that position which is the student's name which function we are going to use we are going to use index function here so we got the reference array here and so we got the row number here right we just need to enter reference and array here and which reference array is the student's name a2 to a13 and close the parenthesis and there you go you got the jane which is the topper of your class congratulations jane <laughs> So if, if you have learned something, please click the like button. If you want to ask some question, please comment below such that we can revert back to you with a valid answer. So if you want to learn such thing in future, then you can subscribe to this channel. So see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.